Welcome to the world, everybody. Okay, so I know I missed Wednesday's video. I know I'm supposed to be getting back on track, um, but I've had a lot of crazy go on in the past few days. Um, I threw my shoulder out again, so I had to call my physical therapist and fix that. So unfortunately, um, and also kind of just so you know, today is just like a little bit of a chat and get ready with me. Um, I'm not doing anything too extravagant. I'm just like basic eye look because we have to go out and run a couple of errands. I have to go meet my director. Um, things like that. But so one of the things is, unfortunately, I did have to stop the Chloe team challenge. Um, I'm very unhappy with myself about it, but I started screwing up my shoulder and my physical therapist says she really wishes I would have talked to her before I tried it because I've set myself back a bit. Um, so oops. <laughs> um, so on the other note, we are kind of just getting ready to go out and about. Uh, no new puppy updates just yet. Um, it is confirmed. I am going to Seaside. I do not yet have confirmation of whether or not there will be travel vlogs. There will definitely be travel pictures, um, but I don't know yet about vlogs. I got to talk to the sleeping husband. Um, as you can see, we got our water machine in, which I'm really excited about. We've gone through like two and a half gallons since Tuesday when it got here. Um, and so today we're going to go ahead and just go in with a quick simple look. We're using the Profusion Cosmetics Chocolate Palette. Um, and as you can see, I painted my nails. I wanted something really bright and summery. And well, this was really bright and summery. And this gave me a chance to test out the neon base, um, which was not a thing I knew about. Uh, so we're going, we're going to go ahead and kind of get started with makeup while we chit chat a little bit. I'm just going to do a real quick, simple look. What do I want to use for transition? Um, I've been talking to my sister a lot the past couple of days. She's going to come visit next week, which will be really nice. Super excited for that. So, yay, I get to see my sister. Very excited there. Uh, my mom went in for procedure today, so I'm waiting to hear back on that. I'm sure everything will go fine. I just keep telling myself everything will be fine. I have stress, so if I don't tell myself that, I freak out. So I just sit in here telling myself everything is going to be okay. He's going to text me tonight. Everything will have gone wonderfully. There's going to be no difficulties at all. Uh, today we are going out to meet my director so that I can trade a product with her, which would be nice, um, because she has the color that I need for a client of mine. I want to go matte or shiny today. Oh, I'm feeling really light today, but I kind of want to. I don't know. We're just going to play. Uh, we're going to go in with a little bit of light just above that to kind of soften the edges on it a bit. Um, anyways. I don't know what we're going to do makeup wise today. I know we have to go out and meet my director. I know we have to go pick up some photographs that we had printed because we had puppy picture puppies printed. Also, speaking of which, uh, puppy pictures are up on my Instagram. Um, they are super cute. You guys should totally go check them out. Do I want, no, I want the thicker one. You guys should totally go check them out. She is the most adorable puppy in the world. Um, I also started her her own Instagram page so that you guys don't have to wait for me to post because my husband has access to it, as do I. So it makes it a little bit easier when it comes to getting the pictures up because if I don't get a chance to do it or if we use his phone, I don't have to wait for him to send them to me. He can just send them directly to the Instagram which is super exciting. I'm very happy about that. I'm going to go in with a little bit of groovy. Um, the 
So that happened. We we're waiting anxiously, either tomorrow or Saturday. We should get her week three pictures. Uh, we unfortunately don't get to go see her this week because we do have to go out of town to handle all of the out of town. But we get to see her next week, and I'm going to set up an arrangement to see her toward the end of next weekend. Uh, just because I do have to run down to, we are running down to Seaside. Uh, so that I can take product to a client I have down there. And also we decided we will have like a puppy moon. So like a last hurrah before she gets here. We are very excited for her to get here, but we do also know when she gets here. Going away and doing like date nights and things like that are going to be a little bit more difficult. help if I was doing this with my good eye versus my bad eye. So we're very excited for our trip. We will be gone the 19th. We're going to go down the morning of the 19th. be nice because I miss the beach. We are going to be extra careful, but I miss the beach, so. We're very excited to go. And I don't know how I always end up with one eye way more defined than the other eye not yet discovered how I managed to do that, but I do. Uh, to save time, I've already got like my base and everything on. I just used my Mary Kay CC cream. Uh, we're going to grab a bit of gentle Columbus out of it. I find that I like the denser, tighter pack poofers better. I feel like I get more control that way. Which is nice. Um, I think I want... tissue here. A little bit of focus. A little bit of mic drop. Kind of warm it up a bit. Give it more of a, like a summery golden look. A little bit of focus. A little bit of mic drop. So we're kind of going as we go. Um, I'm really sad that I wasn't able to finish the challenge, but I also know if my options were finish a two week challenge and feel amazing for finishing a two week challenge. But at the same time, finishing that two week challenge was going to put me through three to six more months of physical therapy. I'd rather feel upset for not finishing and not have three to six more months of physical therapy versus having the extra physical therapy. Because I know with physical therapy, one of the things she's really been focusing on is I need to remember that, you know, it, it's a process. And I'm not good with processes. I'm, I have no patience. Like, absolutely no patience whatsoever.
and I know I need to work on that and it's something I personally am working on. But I also know that I will get there someday. And in talking to my sister, because I was as upset as I was, she is doing the beach body challenge. And I'm going to wait to get my physical therapist's okay to do it this time first. Um, but hopefully it won't take too, too long and I'll get the okay to do the beach body stuff with my sister. Or at least the lower body beach body stuff with my sister. Oh, a little bit of fallout and I have already done my um, base today so I'll have to hopefully not have too much fallout I'll have to go fix it all if I have too too much fallout fallout is not fun but I don't know why I'm feeling such a dark look today I just kind of am playing with it and I'm kind of liking how it's turning out I need to add a lot of light to it though it's feeling just a little too dark for summer. So I think we're going to go in with a combination of polite and gentle. And try and make a halo eye. Or at the very least just try and lighten it up in the center here. So I'm just kind of patting those on. I'm not going to blend them out too, too much because I'm going to go in after I pat those on and pat on one of these like shimmeries and kind of see how I feel about the shimmeries. I'm going to blend around the outer edges just a bit more. And then take these along the upper line and then we're going to use illusion to give me a highlight which I should be using with my little brush And I think what we're going to do is we're going to check this one, this one, this one. So these are the four that I'm looking at. This is the darkest. I'm shaking, sorry. And these, I think I'm going to go with one of these. I might combine them. I guess we'll just put them on and see how they look. <sighs> so what's this?
you're not really wanting to cooperate with the brush. So I'm going to go in and use my finger. Kind of put them on that way. I'm not going to lie, you guys, it never ceases to amaze me how velvety smooth these shadows are. Like, I don't feel like I'm applying eyeshadow. I have a trick that I almost kind of want to try. I'm going to try it on one of my smaller brushes. Any better? No, it does not. Okay. That did not work. Sad Panda, my idea did not work. So we're going to just keep attempting to pack this on because for some reason, when my finger worked on one eye, it didn't work on the other eye. Mark. always have one eye that has to be a pesky little devil. Always. And I don't know why, but it has to. Okay, I think those are about even. I'm going to use a little teeny tiny bit of glory. Right in the dead center of this one. I actually picked up a little ball out there. There we go. And I think just to round it all out, to give me an extra little pop, just a little pop, a little bit of glitter. Yeah, it is not working. I don't know why I keep this thing. This thing doesn't do anything. I have a light. No, that's what that was for. Okay. Maybe this one. No. I'll just keep using this guy. I'm really indecisive, guys. Especially when I start getting stressed. When I start getting stressed, which is why I haven't been recording, which is why there wasn't a video on Wednesday. When I get stressed, I can't make decisions. Because I sit there and I can't... One of my difficulties with my life is I can't handle stress well. I don't make decisions well when I'm stressed. I don't do anything well when I'm stressed. At all. There we go. And so when I'm stressed, I have a tendency to kind of just shut off from everything. Like, if any of you follow my Instagram, you'll notice that 
the workouts were like at 11 o'clock at night and that's because I was like I have to do this I have no choice I'm forcing myself to get up and do this and the reason it was pictures only is because I know when I'm in that mind state I don't want to be in front of a camera because I know it's going to convey to you guys and that's not what you guys want to see like let's be real you're probably here because you like I don't know And I know a lot of people are like, well, just don't stress. <sighs> Sorry, I realized that got real quiet for a second. I was doing that earlier. I know a lot of people are like, well, just don't stress. Honey, if it was that simple, we wouldn't have people with the problems that we have. Like, girl, I wish it was as easy as just don't stress. The other problem I have when I stress is I put stuff down and I don't know where I put it. Found it. So today what I'm using because I just want to get it finished up is my ColourPop Brow Bosch. It's not my big, my favorite, but it's one I've got just kind of on hand. I have my Mary Kay one, but I'm not going to be out too, too long today. And I'm going to be putting some Mary Kay brow gel over this. But I want to get this used up. I'm one of those people that I try really, really hard to like finish products. And yes, I over plucked my brows, but I'm also in the process of fixing them. They are slowly growing back.
twin sisters, not twin sisters, not twin sisters, not twins, because it looks like I have two giant caterpillars on my face. I'm going to ignore it. Mm. Sisters, not twin sisters, not twin sisters, not twins. Better. I forever look like I'm quirking my brow. I just wish this one would do what this one does. Just gotta wait to see my brow grow. Just gotta wait to see my brow grow. Use a little bit of like a peachier shaded highlighter today. Kind of put a little bit of color back in my face. And yes, guys, I know I've got really dark circles under my eyes today. I have not been sleeping well. I tried to fix it. I'll add a little bit more light colored powder, see if that'll help a little bit. I'll just use my packing brush here. Actually, we'll just switch to a little brush. Pack a bunch of that on, see if we can fix this at least a little bit. Some of it's eyeshadow, some of it's lack of sleep. All of it, well, like 80% of it's shiny. But we're just gonna let the shine shine on and enjoy it and just pretend that I'm a fairy princess today. Because why not? Highlight till the cows come home. Because if I'm sparkly, I'll maybe be happier. Ooh, actually, I want to put a little bit of this. That would be fun. Put the highlighter away now, or I'm going to highlight to the ends of the earth. Lashes. Don't poke out your eye. No, oh, that's too close. And again, don't poke out your eye. Oh, that's close on some of them. Primer. And then just a little bit of my Lash Love Lengthening Mascara. Because I don't need super lashes today. Just regular lashes today. And there is a new mascara out by Mary Kay that I was thinking about trying. My friend tried it though, and she said one of the products that 
we had out already that wasn't limited edition, one of our regular products, worked better. So I think I'm just going to stick with the one that I know and that I like for when I need the Vazoom lashes. And I mean, if we're being honest, it's gotten to the point that when I want the, the, the Vazoom lashes, I usually just put on a set of lashes. But to each their own, you don't have to wear lashes, guys. I wear them once in a while because I really like them. And with certain makeup looks, I think they look bomb. Timer's not wanting to go on my side. I told you guys I've got my good eye and then I've got my I don't really want to do it but I woke up and I'm here eye. Now, as I stab myself in the eye. That hurt. Um, I feel like this needs a good lip. But what color lip do I want to do? I think we're just going to go ahead and use the puff again. So it's fun and it's really velvety and I'm really feeling those velvety textures today. I can get some of it out. Come on. There we go. Okay, so I've discovered a downside in using this. Ooh, I really like that. When using this puff, I've discovered one downside and that it's really hard to be precise with. Not gonna lie though, all of the positives like being super soft and staying on relatively well. It's not transfer proof by any means, y'all. Um, but it stays on pretty well definitely outweigh the inability uh, to be like precise because you can always go in after yourself and clean up your lines and like where you wanted it you can always go in and fix that whereas if you've got one that's like say super precise 
but feels like crud on your lips, you can't make something feel soft on your lips. You can go in and fix your precision. So, last thing we're going to do, setting spray because I am going out in the heat today. I need to get myself one of those fans so I can just be like, wah. Alright, but so I am ready. I gotta go wake up my husband so that we can get going. Um, I am going to, I think, do a neon look for next week at some point. So, it was wonderful chatting with y'all. Thanks for coming and hanging out with me while I get ready. Um, I know it wasn't really a tutorial, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed hanging out. I hope you enjoy the look. Um, I will post, uh, da -da -da -da. my brain just froze. Um, just in case you guys don't want to go follow the puppies page, I will post puppy pictures, uh, probably a couple of days after we have them, um, just so I can get them transferred and saved and everything. But on that note, it was wonderful chatting with you. Thanks for hanging out with me. Don't forget to stay hydrated. It's cold. It, it's not cold out. It is not cold out. It is hot out. Stay hydrated with cold water. It was wonderful chatting with you. Remember, as I say, always be kind to one another. Be kind to yourself. Be the change you want to see in the world. And as always, especially right now, a smile is infectious. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Bye.